Okay, there we go. Oh my god, it is making yes! Can get you out of my How's it going everybody? Dragast here and welcome back to some more Simple Planes. So we're going to be checking out some more player made creations today, but we're also going to do a few challenges. Last time we were just in the sandbox, but there's actually a bunch of different challenges you can do in this game. Races, combat, as well as just generic challenges that might be fun to try out with some of these creations as well. So first of all, I feel like doing a race. I don't know which one I want to do here. Uh, race through the trenches at the base of the volcano. That sounds pretty damn badass. Let's try that. Typhoon circuit, here we go. Now, I did download a quick plane here. Just a generic plane I thought would be good for fighting and maybe even racing as well. Looks pretty good to me, so let's try it out here. Oh my god, we're already in the air. And it looks like there is... Does this guy got a jet beside me? I can't even... Oh no, I am beating him. We, we, we got this thing, assuming I don't hit a mountain. Oh yeah, this isn't too bad at all. I'm hearing this. What the fuck? That guy is so damn quick. You know what? No, you you cannot beat me. You you cannot beat me, you bastard. So I thought I had this guy beat, but clearly he has a pretty damn fast craft and I can't shoot him down. So I guess he's going to win this one. I just want to see if I can complete it with this thing. Level failed. You are four minutes behind? This dude already won? He's 10 rings ahead of me? Oh my god. So clearly, this is not the plane for racing. But it might actually be really good at flying. I mean, it's got a nice cockpit here, a good aimer. So let's try out that. Okay, we're gonna try World War II dogfight here. This sounds like it's the perfect thing for this. Basically, there's no rockets or missiles allowed. So I'm just gonna use my actual machine guns here to defeat some enemies, hopefully. Do we have... It looks like we have multiple enemies. That's actually really cool. Okay, enemy number one. Oh, sh shit, Jesus Christ. You can never prepare for that when they're coming directly at you. Okay, this 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 guy is clearly a hell of a lot faster than me. He's just running around me right now. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this guy. What the hell? Did, did I get him? Why did he just crash? I don't think I hit him, but I might have. Who knows? Oh, shit. I saw a shot. Oh, my God. Did I? I ever get sniped. Let's try that again. That was fun. Yes! I got one! If you blinked, you would have missed it, but I have finally shot one down. Now, there's one more guy left. If I can get both guys, a complete success here with this plane. But these guys are extremely hard to follow. Like, look how fast this freaking guy is going. Like, he is just flying around me. I am just in a big loop here trying to play catch up. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh my God. I got him. All enemies destroyed. You are victorious. I feel like I actually succeeded in something for life for once. Okay, we're gonna try one more race here. Try and redeem myself from the embarrassment that was my first race. This one sounds pretty cool. We got Eagle Pass, which is uh, essentially a glider race. Now I did download a glider, but it has an engine on it. So you know what? We're just gonna pop that thing off. I guess we can take off this thing too. And this little thing as well. Hell, there's even something else here. What? What is this thing? I have no idea. We're going to get rid of that, though, as well. It's a glider. It's simple. So we'll just get rid of all that. And there we go. Look at the perfect glider. You know what? We don't even need that shit. We'll get that rid of that, too. Aerodynamics is important, guys. And now it is its bare bones glider. Okay, let's try this out now. I have no idea if this will work well or not. Oh, shit. This is okay. This is, uh, this feels a hell of a lot different. Don't hit my wing, you bastard. Oh man, his glider's so much better than mine. Look, look at how sleek that thing is. He's just he's just soaring through the air. I'm slowly falling. Can I come back up there with you, please? Yeah, this is not the easiest glider to deal with. Come on, go back up. <laughs> I'm already falling down. Oh god, I, I I I don't I don't think I have enough speed to do this, guys. Oh yeah, she's going down. I can't even turn it. Oh, I I am not doing anything right now. This is this is going into a death spin. Okay, so clearly racing is not my forte. <laughs> but you know what is? Crashing. Yes. <laughs> okay. How does that explode anyways? Can, can someone explain to me why an engineless vehicle just exploded? Okay, that's enough serious planes for one day. Now we're going to get into the crazy creations. First of all, we have a wingsuit guy. I think he's slowly falling over. Now I've been told to slightly lean it forward. And, uh, yeah, that's not, that, that's not leaning forward. So, like I said, slightly lean it forward, 
and then turn this bad boy on and we should take to the skies as you can see look mom i'm flying are you proud of me there's a fucking rocket in my asshole Okay, I, I'm gonna get this guy to fly if it's the last thing I do. Let's just not do anything and see what happens. Maybe that is the secret to this thing. Clearly it is! I mean, what the fuck? Okay, now let's move forward. Yes, look at this. I'm a flying man. This is great. Okay, and honestly, it's a little difficult to get this guy to take off, but once you do, he kind of works just like a plane. It's actually kind of amazing. Okay, I am going to make it through even a smaller part on this bridge. Last episode, we went through one of the big triangles. Now we're going right through there. Yes, I did it. Oh, man, wingsuit man is so great. All right, let's try and land this thing. I have no idea if you can land it, but I'm going to try anyways. Okay, drop my throttles to 50%. Wingsuit man is coming in. Drop them even more. Look at this, magnificent. My butt throttle is totally off. Let's just try and easily land this now. Perfect. Okay, and next up we got a nice little sports car here. I mean, look at the attention to detail on this one. And it's got a few cool features as well. First of all, you can open both doors and the back engine bay. They go all the way up just like Lambo doors, and you can see the attention to detail even goes inside. I mean, there's a few things missing. It definitely could be improved, but one of the best looking creations I've seen in a while. I mean, there's even an engine in the back. Anyways, let's close this up and actually try it. If, if I can get this thing closed, come on, work with me. <laughs> that looks good. Okay, we're gonna turn those things off, and I think now you can just up the burners and then put it in the gear perfect and look at that it even goes forward now i don't know what that thing's doing back there but i don't really care <laughs> this thing doesn't really go that fast and it's looking like all it is is just jets attached to each wheel now can i turn this oh yes you can look at that so to the people who think it's just about planes in this game i say look at my little slow sports car <laughs> Interesting. Okay, and this next design is pretty interesting. We got a plane here, and we also got a mini city. Now, there's actually a storyline with this creation. Basically, this city's riddled with zombies, and the only option is to bomb it. So that's why we got this plane here. We're gonna go in there and try and bomb it with this big-ass bomb on the bottom. I actually like that. I love a creation with a storyline. So we're gonna try this out here. Uh, no promises on me actually hitting it, because it's gonna be damn near impossible with how small the target is, but I'll do my best. Okay, we are coming back in. I'm gonna stay pretty close to the ground here, that way I at least have a chance of hitting it. Oh god, this is gonna be hard to aim. Okay, we're gonna have to launch it. Oh shit, way off! <laughs> oh man. Okay, try number two, here we go! Oh! Oh, yes! Direct hit! I have obliterated the damn town. Oh my god, that was actually really freaking fun. I hope I can find more creations like that. And next up, we got a phone in airplane mode. Yes, haha, -ha. funny. Do you know what else is funny? Crashing into bridges. Let's see if I can take this motherfucker out. Yeah, that bridge is a lot bigger than I expected, or that plane's a lot smaller. <laughs> And next up, we got a rocket launcher tank here. A lot of you have been requesting to see some tanks in this game, and they're actually really hard to find. Uh, go figure, a tank in a plane game, hard to find. But yes, uh, just like Besiege, you actually gotta stretch these tracks out, so let's do that first. There we go, I think that's pretty much as far as it needs to go. Then we can turn this thing on, and uh, yeah, go try and blow something up. There's actually a bridge over here, so I think we're gonna try and head over there if we can. Wow, this actually works remarkably well. So this thing also does have a minigun on top, as you can see, you can actually rotate this and uh, shoot whatever the hell you want. Actually, I'm wondering if I can break these buildings. Let's try that. Oh, hey, look! My track has fallen off. My other one has fallen off. Oh, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> wow. That tank was definitely not put very well together. <laughs> it just all fell apart immediately. Let's try that again, shall we? Okay, it's at least holding together now. Let's try. I don't even know how you aim this thing. Let's just hope for the best here. There we go. Yes, I am hitting it. Unfortunately, I don't think this thing breaks down. <laughs> oh god, there goes one track. Let's see if I can survive this thing 
with just one track. Oh, the other one's going now, too. All right, now let's try and hold this thing together. It doesn't hold together once the tracks are gone. God damn it, I just wanted to go over to the bridge. Okay, and look at my little tank. It made it all the way to the bridge. Now, I'm going to actually go out on this bridge now and actually shoot it just to see what happens. Maybe it will break down and I'll fall with it, and that would be extremely fun. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, it is breaking! Yes! I was able to break the bridge with my wonderful little missile tank. How cute is that? I love this thing. Oh man, explosions. It's always fun. And for whatever reason, this skips across the top of the water. Perfectly logical. Okay, and next up we got a 6x6 rover that has everything you need to land on the friggin' moon. I mean, we even got solar power here. How cool is that? I don't even know how to work this thing, by the way. Oh, shit, I shot something. Didn't mean to do that. Anyways, okay, so we can power this. Uh, steering works great. I think it also has, yes, it indeed has back steering as well. I like the attention to detail. Now, I'm actually going to deactivate the actual rover. Let's activate this little jet on the back now. Uh, I guess we'll speed it up a bit. Oh, is this actually... Oh, it's actually going to make this move. Wow, this is moving really quick. I don't think this is how to do it. Oh, this is definitely not how to do it. Oh, shit. What the hell just happened? Am, am, am I in heaven? I see the light. Oh, my God, I'm spinning. That's what's going on. What the fuck just happened to me? Okay, so what I think I'm going to do just to combat the thrust from the plane, I'm actually going to put this thing going in reverse. Now we're going to enable the plane... Yes, that's looking actually really good. And it actually aims it upwards. I still don't fully know how to use this thing, but whatever. There we go. Oh, shit. Okay, let's try this again for the third time. I feel like this is the way to do it. You just gotta kind of get lucky. Whoa, shit! <laughs> I, was, I was pulling the rover up from the thrust of the plane. I clearly don't know how to take this one off. If I could do it, though, that would be great. And I just fucking crashed. Great. Okay, back after a crash game here. Let's actually try this thing again here. That's looking perfect. Now, I am using both rockets here. Oh, my God. This is this is not going as planned. All right, come on. Just go, please. If I think if I'm on flat ground, I might actually be able to do this. Okay, some nice flat ground. Now, let's see if this will work. Activate one. Activate two. Incline. Good. Let's make this sucker go, please. Alright, I'm at 100%. I, do, I don't want to fight it too much. There we go. Oh, please tell me. Please. Yes! <laughs> I have finally gotten lift off with this little guy. Now, unfortunately, this thing doesn't have a landing gear, so we're just going to have to make the softest landing possible. And that's probably a crash, because crashing is always fun, my friends. Okay, coming in at a very slow 500 miles an hour. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Yeah, that, that, that's... I, I knew that was going to happen. And it isn't just planes and land vehicles in uh, Simple Planes. We also got boats, of course. This one being... A, it's supposed to go 120 miles an hour as a sailboat. Well, I guess it's technically not totally a sailboat because it's got some engines as well. Anyways, let's uh, get this thing started up here. It's actually got three ways to turn, so I don't know which one's the best. First of all, we can turn with the mast... Uh, secondly, I believe you can yeah, turn with the rudders, and then third, you can turn with the actual engines. So I think we're going to start off with the mast, see how that works, and try some other ones as well. Anyways, let's get this thing started up and see how it is. Okay, getting up speed already, already at 50 miles an hour. I, I kind of wish there was waves in here, because the, seeing this thing flying through the waves would be hilarious. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to believe that it can get up to 150 miles an hour. Let's try and turn this thing. Oh my god, it actually has, like, kind of leaning. Look at this. Oh, yes, this is so cool. Okay, I actually want to try the other way to turn. So we're going to use the bottom now. You can see it totally turns differently now. This is actually way more easier to control, but it doesn't turn as hard. And let's try the third one now, which is actually turning the fans, which he said doesn't work that well. So yeah, you can see... Very minuscule amounts of turning, but it definitely does turn as well. I prefer using the actual mass. It's definitely the most fun way to do it. Anyways, guys, we're going to end this episode of Simple Planes here. I hope you enjoyed some of these very awesome creations. Thankfully, the creative community in this game is huge. I would say it's definitely bigger than Besiege as well. So you'll probably see a lot more episodes on the channel as long as you guys enjoy them. So if you do enjoy it, make sure you hit that like button so I know. And once again, guys, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking. And I will see you in the next one.